Hello everyone, this is Matt here with Sawhorse and I'm with Carol. She's got a company called Remain Safe. Basically, if a storm coming through, your house collapses, well, you're able to protect yourself with one of their, looks like these industrial containers. It's probably good for nuclear war as well, right? No, it's not, not, not rated a... for ballistic, nor is it re re um, rated for the whole radiation thing, unfortunately. I could make some serious money if it were. Got it, all right, so let's learn a little bit, a little bit more about this. All right, you said ballistics. You're talking about like missiles or bullets? Talking bullets. Okay, got it. Uh, and to be ballistic rated, it has to be very thick, very thick metal. Our shelters above ground are made with quarter inch steel. This shelter, the New Day shelter, is 3 8 steel. And it is actually a reconditioned propane tank. A lot of people do not realize that propane oh, wow. tanks have to be decommissioned after a period of time. And so then they get put out to dry bones. We found a green way of using those and making a storm shelter that go in your garage or in your carport and they're anchored to the ground to your, your, your pad at, with nine Hilti bolts. And so with that, it's not going anywhere unless the whole pad is going somewhere. The unit for the New Day weighs 1,100 pounds. The door itself is 350 pounds. So tell me what you want to know. All right, so with these, obviously they're the recycled. Uh, we've got the, you know, the steel is very expensive right now. So I'm assuming that that's going to help keep the cost down a little bit. Um, you still have to with, manufacture it. It does with the New Day. We are having supply chain issues like everybody else with our above ground and our below ground units. And so the fact that the new days will house up to three people, I have had people actually buy two of those units to put them in so they could accommodate their family. Got it. And also, I'm also sure you probably sold a lot of these during the quarantine because parents trying to get away from their kids too, right? Or is this for time out? Well, you know, that's not advisable because, you know, you do have to... Um, worry about smash fingers because yeah. the door itself is 350 pounds. Got it. That's why there's a very strong magnet on it that keeps little hands from easily opening the door. Oh, that's very good fail-safe mechanism. So what about breathing in there? So how do you get oxygen? So what I want people to realize, they get really worried about ventilation. And if you can see, my finger goes in to the shelter that far around. That's because the ventilation is all the way around the door. When I open this up, you can see the only place that there is a marring on the door is where the magnet hits because the ventilation comes from all the way around the door. We provide a battery upward fan right here that helps draw in air and also helps create circulation with side, inside the unit. And in this unit alone, we have the um, padding inside to help with the tinginess because it is a propane tank but we know that it's still gonna be loud. So with this unit only, we provide four sets of ear protection. People also get concerned that with the door closing out this way, that something can land on the door and, and trap them in. That's not a problem because we've covered that one too. Right here, you'll see that there is a wing nut that you take this tool out and this piece right here gets wedged underneath here and you lift it up and it comes off the hinge and falls to the side. We provide this fun little tool with it as well. You break the glow stick, there's your light beacon. It has a whistle in here so once it's outside you've also got a sound beacon as well as your light. But we always tell people that no matter who you buy your shelter from, it is always good to register your shelter. And so therefore you wanna get your phone and ping down to it, drop a pin, write those coordinates inside your shelter. So you then take those coordinates and you tell them the fire, the police, as well as your emergency care ambulance, because you want them to know exactly where inside your home to start looking and start digging. So besides the used propane tanks. Looks like you guys have some square ones for larger families. These are four by six or six by eight. They can hold either eight or 13 people. This is a below the ground under the garage shelter right here. These come in sizes of three by six, four by seven, and five by eight. They hold six, eight, and 13 people.
These can go into a home that's being newly built and that will save you about $2,500, but they can go in into an existing home, but there's more labor costs to those because you have to cut the concrete and dig out. So if you have mobility issues, you would not want to choose this, you would choose this issue. But if you've got extreme uh, claustrophobia, you wouldn't want to do this, but you could do this. And sometimes you don't want to go into the ground either, so this is a great option. And I'm assuming you're saying garage, because that's usually the place that's most accessible to install it? Correct. Got it. So We can do custom closets, but we have to have an order of that way in advance because with supply chain issues. And then what we would do is we would fabricate it, place it on your, your pad in your house, and then they would build the house around it. Got it. So what's the, what's the best way for people to get in touch with you? To, to the best way for people to find me is to go to sales at remainsafe.com. My email address is right over there, and the phone number is also located at 256-506-9449.